Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and happy Monday. Today I'm going to be working in my colored glue book. Um, I decided to have the color theme in here. And um, yeah, join me in the No Fuss glue book session. It's a lot of fun. Uh, last Monday I worked in my alphabet glue book and today I want to work in my color glue book. So I have a basket here of uh, different cutouts. And then uh, let's get started. I hope you're all doing really well. My uh, my fingers and my hands have gotten a little bit of a, a beating already from gardening. <laughs> I cannot seem to uh, to keep my fingers and my hands in great condition during uh, summer. I like to go dig in dirt. I like to go play in dirt. What can I say? <laughs> uh, my allergies tell me otherwise that I probably shouldn't, but I got more red chairs. Look at that. Last time I put this giant red chair here and uh, now I've got more red chairs. I also have a small red door and I have a, a red cupboard. What else do I have here that's red? Mm, I think that is oh I've got some really nice red strawberries but I don't think I can fit that all on here I'm gonna see what I can what I can do kind of want to have the book showing on the background there I think that looks really cool so I might just go over the edge here a little bit If you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad that you are here. I appreciate it very much. And if uh, you desire so, um, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I would love that. I love working. I love Mondays. I love Monday resets and just working in my glue book session no stress whatsoever just relax and take it easy and i think that uh, monday glue book session is perfect for that for just taking it easy and relaxing and as much as i enjoy glue booking i also really enjoy um harvesting from magazines i don't know what it is i used to <laughs> Not even keep old magazines so now I go and I buy old magazines and um, I really like the strawberries versus the chair I might just tape it over or glue it over um, but yeah like I was saying I used to thrift my used magazines and so now I I go buy them <laughs> And along with my grandchildren too, they just, they absolutely love their time with grandma and just glue booking for fun. And they each have their own glue book here at our house. And they ha I have a special drawer just for them. They already know where, where their stuff is. They're welcome to go through any of my magazines um, to harvest items out of. But uh, yeah, they have each uh, each their own um, glue book that I have their names on there. And then they uh, always, almost always ask, well, two of my grandkids for sure, especially one, will always ask, Grandma, can we go do some glue booking? And uh, he's always very ready and willing to to go downstairs and uh, come into my craft room and do some glue booking. He truly enjoys it. I think that's it for my red. I do have a, a few purple items. I think I did start a purple page. Oh, 
Oh, I remember harvesting this out. Isn't that just gorgeous, the blue with the gold? I love it. I might have to start a, a blue gold page, right? Or even just the blue is fine. I don't know. Would you say that's pink or purple? I don't know. It's kind of, it, it is, I feel like it's a little bit more of a purple than a, than a pink. And I have a gold telephone here, so I will definitely add that. So let's see, what have I got here? My blue is not quite full here yet, actually. I do have, um, I have this yarn. I think it's very pretty. I would love to add that here, but that will cover my living room here. And I don't really want to cover that. Hmm. Do you know what? You know what I'm going to do? Oh, maybe. I'll put it right above. I like that. Just in a few short months, we are going to, Lord willing, have another grandchild. Um... I think she is due around August 1st. My birthday is in August, so that's pretty exciting. Hopefully she has him or her in August. Hmm. Oh, I have a blue fish here, actually, that I could put on here on my blue page. I would like to put a blue background behind there first. And I also have these blue flowers. Oh, that would actually look pretty cool to have that right up in the corner there. I often, <clears throat> when I work in my glue book, I just, I just kind of stick things in wherever and don't even really think about it. But um, then I tell myself, my goodness, I should maybe do this more carefully so that uh, I make it match a little bit more, make it a little bit prettier. Oh goodness, you should see my sister's glue book. Her glue book is so pretty. Um, she makes it all match and she makes a whole room with people sitting in it and oh, she just makes it look so good. I actually, uh, I did a, um, I did a glue book flip through of her glue book actually. That was before she finished it. I think she might be finished now, but I don't even know for sure if she is finished or not. I like her. She's wearing an apron and a uh, red apron and red shoes. So I think I'm going to add her right over here. Or maybe over here. I think she matches over here better. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, I have a video where I uh, flipped through her purse journal that she created. Absolutely. She is so talented. So very talented. And she used to have a YouTube channel called Bag Full of Treasure. Bag Full of Treasures, I think it was called. I don't know if any of you ever followed a channel called Bag Full of Treasures. That was my sister. She, her health is not the best, so she decided not to, not to be on YouTube anymore, which was too bad because she was already at over a thousand subscribers. So I was actually, I was actually quite sad when she left. I enjoyed her videos very much. 
<clears throat> but uh, like I said, I was I did a um, a flip through of her uh, purse journal that she made as well as her glue book, and I don't know if you have all seen that video that I posted or shared some time ago already. But if you haven't, if you haven't seen it, um, I'll link it down below. Maybe you want to go check it out and have a look. But she is, uh, she is my inspiration for creating a channel and for glue booking and for journaling it's she's definitely my my inspiration and when she started I wasn't really into it actually I mean I had done scrapbooking yes but I wasn't that into it and she actually helped me create my very first junk journal and um that I have a flip through of as well, my full very first junk journal. I'll link it down below as well in case you're interested in seeing that and she helped me create it. She helped me make it and uh, I really appreciated that. <clears throat> it was so fun working on it and I would, I would love to um, create with her again, but I don't know what is happening to our time and our world these days, you know? It's just, Literally, like I blink and the day is done. Like, how does that even happen? I have a list of things I want to do. I usually uh, write the things down that I want to uh, work on, maybe for the week or for the day. And uh, just like that, the, the day is done and it's already evening and it's already supper time and I don't know, sometimes I don't understand. <laughs> I don't get it how it happens so fast. I've got my white pages almost done. I have, I mean, this is white with some greenery on it. And there is white and green both on here. I could actually put this here. And I think this looks very pretty. I love uh, plain white, a plain white house with green in it. I think it's so pretty. I will be covering part of the car though. <clears throat> but I think that's okay if I cover part of the car, right? <laughs> Not doing anything here for professional just a little bit of play just for fun just chatting with you guys i've got my gold page here did i have oh yes i have okay now that i have this here this doesn't really look gold i guess this looks more beige but I should probably start a beige page. I don't think I have. Here's my silver page. And I don't think I have anything silver to put in here today. And I've got my green and blue page. Do I have anything green and blue? Yes, I have this. I mean, this is more blue than green. Yeah, that probably wouldn't work. Hmm. <clears throat> yellow yes I have a few yellow items to stick in here I have this huge yellow butterfly And then I've got this beautiful uh, 
white with yellow flowers. I could add that. What are your plans for this week? <laughs> Sorry, I just want to add this underneath here. Today, I think I'm just going to take it easy, a little bit more easy. I've been working in my garden so much that I have gotten quite overtired some days. And uh, I think I'm going to take it easy today and I'm going to um, I'm going to do some laundry. I got a yellow purse or bag, handbag, I guess. Maybe I should start that on this page. What else do I have for yellow? I have, <clears throat> I have a, oh, is that gold? That is more gold. Yes, it is. But I do have another yellow flower here. I think I'm going to keep this as more of my, my nature page here. There, see, that all worked out nicely. And I think, oh, what did I do with my yellow handbag here? Oh, it's right here. I think I'm going to put this one on this page. I'm looking forward to, um, I mean, I'm really enjoying the process of filling my glue books. But I'm also looking really forward to when it is done and I can like do a flip through of it. I think that will be really fun. I feel like I want something yellow underneath here. <clears throat> Even if it is a piece of some kind of yellow stripe of something. I found a little yellow piece from in my Daphne's Diary magazine. I think I'm going to put that underneath there. I have very uh, mixed feelings about Daphne's Diary magazine. I absolutely love them. But I haven't renewed my prescription yet. I don't know. I still am debating. But I love using it in my in my collages and glue booking and journals. For my own use, of course, right? because uh, you can't use them in anything you're going to sell, but who am I going to, where and how and who, what am I going to sell? <laughs> I have I have yet to create anything for selling. Um, and uh, I do often wish to and would like to have the time to create journals for that purpose. But I think, I think I'm not in the right time with that right now. Look at this. I, this was also a page from my Daphne's Diary magazine, and it's a girl, and there's a whole bunch of yellow hearts around her. And I actually really like this. Should I fill this whole page with that and then add some yellow on the sides here? Hey, hey, I like that. Hang on, oh, hang on. My purse might just have to come off a little bit for now. I kind of like that idea. Um, I used to rush through my videos. Um, I have learned a lot, by the way, from YouTube. A lot. I used to rush through my videos and... Uh, You know, just because life is busy and I wanted to make sure that I had a video up and you know, you know how the story goes. But <clears throat> I have, I have made a decision for myself that I want to enjoy creating 
very much so. I don't want to just think, oh, I got to I got to make a video and, and post a video. I better get to this and get her done. No, I have told myself that I want to relax. I want to be in the mood for creating a video and creating. And I'll have a video when I have a video. Yeah, I still want to post several videos a week. Absolutely. But I don't want to rush through it and I don't want to force myself. I just want to. And this is another thing that I have learned from my sister, my dear sister, Anna. Anna, if you're listening to me right now. Where'd my purse go? If you're listening right now, hear me out. I have learned a lot from you. She is, uh, she has taught me not to rush through things and go with the flow, um, go with your feelings, like don't, if the mood isn't right, don't force yourself to, because if you force yourself to, um, it's just not going to work out. It is just not going to work out. And uh, if you are in the mood for whatever it is you're doing, and you're finding a lot of joy in it, um, it will show. You will be able to tell on videos if people are just forcing a video up or if they're truly or if they're truly enjoying creating the video. And you can tell. You can always tell. And uh, I think my daughter just showed up. I heard the doorbell. So I might have to call it good here on my video. Um, I do want to say that <laughs> Carol from Crinkle Path has enrolled me in um, Christmas and July swap. Now that is something I have never done. Very new to me and she made me one of the leaders here in Canada and I'm super nervous about it you guys. But I know any of you can join in the Christmas and July swap. You don't have to have a YouTube channel to join. You can uh, just join otherwise. And then you have a secret Santa that will send you something in July. I don't know exactly all the details yet, but I will leave Carol's uh, video on that link down below in case you're interested in checking that out. But I know she's going to have more updates about it uh, um, in the beginning of June somewhere. So I will tell you more details then as well. So I've, I've done a good amount. I've worked good in my, in my green page here. And I did some in my, no, I didn't do any. Oh yeah, I have my gold cup here that I wanted to add. But yes, my little granddaughter is here and my other daughter I think is coming as well. So. I think I am going to call this good for today. I appreciate you joining me and uh, and the no fuss, uh, hashtag no fuss glue book session. It is so fun. If you would like to join, just use my hashtag and link my channel down below in your, um, in your videos, tag me in it so I can check that out as well. And I think I will call it good for, for today. And uh, thank you for joining me. And I wish you all a beautiful, lovely day and week. Till next time, thanks for watching.